In this episode of Isilon Quick Tips, we're going to focus on accessing NFS exports from Isilon's 1FS. If you're accessing Isilon from a Linux machine, you want to make use of the Network File System or NFS protocol. To do this, we'll be using mount commands, but first, let's set up a directory that we want to share out through an NFS export. All this will be done from 1FS web interface and a Linux command line, so follow along. From our protocol tab, we'll go to the Unix sharing or NFS. Within our NFS exports, we'll have one defaulted, and that default will be for our IFS directory. And remember, anything in the IFS directory is everything that's in Isilon. So that's one that's set up by default, but let's set up one that is specific just to maybe our data. So I'm gonna create an export and we can select our path and we can go down as deep as we want. So I could go into our data and do something off the home shares or some of the archive data, but I just wanna set a top level directory for just our data path and share this one out. So I'm gonna select IFS forward slash data and then this is uh, all of our data in Isilon. And you don't have to set a description. It's just good once you start managing quite a few of these, you'll want to be like, okay, you can look at it and say, hey, okay, hey, that's, that's actually what this export supports. With our permissions, we can restrict it to read only, but we don't want to do that because we want to be able to make this a working directory. But I will click the enable the mount to access the subdirectory. So we're not only accessing that data, we're actually accessing everything inside of data and all the subdirectories in, involved as well. And from here, I'll just create my export and we get a green check, which means we're good to go. We now have two exports available. We have one from our IFS and one from our data. And so now we'll need to jump back into a Linux box and access this from the command line. So from our Linux machine, I'm just gonna show my directory path. So I'm here in the root directory and I've got some files here. The first thing I want to do, and one of the ways that I always troubleshoot setting up the NFS mounts, is let's see what amounts are available. So, so we're going to run a show mount command, and what we're expecting to see is that IFS export and also the IFS data that we just set up. So the syntax is just show mount dash E, and it's going to be our Isilon cluster name. So I've just got an IP address for mine. All right, and just like we expected, we see our IFS data and then our IFS, and those are both accessible to us. And now all we have to do is create a directory to put this in. So from my root directory, I'm just gonna use a MKDIR. And let's set up a directory called our data share. Just confirm that it's there. And now we'll use that mount command. So mount, Isilon cluster name, colon, which export we're gonna use. Remember, we're gonna use the IFS data, but you could use the IFS and mount to all the data that's in Isilon. Now we need to put the full path of the directory that we wanna put it in. So we just created the data share. And then now we should be able to run LS on our data share. And we see that we have our data in here. So we have our Isilon support, we have project data, we have that home share data and that archive data all mounted here. So this is a quick way just to set up an NFS export from a Linux machine to your Isilon cluster. Thanks for joining me for another Isilon quick tip.